Well, the fact that we have a human burial, an intentional human burial, a man buried with his favorite tool, the spear thrower, with uh, stalactites placed in to cover up the burial crevice, uh, indicates that that was at one time dry. Cockrell found an 11,000-year-old human skull preserved by the oxygen-free mineral water. His discovery offers new proof for Noah's flood. Is it possible this Indian was a victim of that flood or a witness to rising oceans at the end of the Ice Age? It, it depends upon whether or not uh, the sea level rise occurred uh, rapidly enough to be noticed by the people. There was a period from around uh, 11,000 years ago to 6,000 years ago when the sea level came up from about 100 meters to about 10 meters below present sea level. That was very, very rapid geologically. The question remains, was it rapid uh, in terms of human behavior? We'll need further research. I think it's an answerable question. Geologists now believe the collapse of the ice cap was in places devastating. When Glacial Lake Missoula broke through a huge ice dam, parts of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana were scoured by a 1,000 foot high wall of water in a single day. Was this Noah's flood? Scientists disagree. So we would say that the flood probably preceded the Ice Age and that the melting of the ice cap that they're talking about, it might have produced a local flood, and no doubt did, maybe around the sea coast of the world, but this was sometime after the biblical flood and probably was on the order of a few thousand years ago rather than 11,000. Now there were times in which there was a lot more ocean water on land, that is the capacity of the ocean basin was smaller. The last time that happened was about uh, 70 or so million years ago. And there were areas that had been flooded every now and then. For instance, Northern Europe was flooded about 30 million years ago. Italy didn't even exist until re relatively recently came out from the ocean and so on. But uh, a major flood covering the whole Earth in a period of one year, absolutely not. It's been said, if Noah's Ark were found tomorrow, believers would say, we told you so, and skeptics would still doubt. There's a curious coincidence. The collapse of the ice cap, the flooding of the Florida Indian caves, and Plato's story of the sinking of Atlantis all have the same date, 11,600 years ago. Was this Noah's flood? The scientists are sharply divided, but they do agree on one fact. Through 200 generations of folklore and legend, mankind has retained the dreamlike memory of a prehistoric deluge. <laughs>